This is your morning, Joel. Literally, I'm about three cups into this Death Wish coffee that I'm trying for the week. Uh, it's something else that def uh, definitely gets you going. Anyway, I got three, five, I don't know, 40 stories you need to know to get your market day started, right? First up is the big story, IBM, IBM, IBM. And for all you uh, college kids out there reading or watching this free uh, digital newsletter, that stands for International Business Machines, and they blew away profit forecast. Very strong quarter for them. Two important things coming off this. One, you're going through these numbers, you see no sign of recession. For that Wall Street camp that's looking for a recession in the second half of the year, you definitely definitely didn't see it in IBM's results. Uh, very strong within their uh, cloud and data protection uh, parts of their business. And if we remember recession, those areas are not would not be as strong for IBM as they were in the second quarter. Next up, IBM's results actually say there is life in investing in tech stock, technology stocks outside of the FANG complex. You could invest in old tech. Old tech like IBM, they've cut a, a heck of a lot of expenses. They've laid people off. They've done their thing, cut expenses. They reinvested in their business in high growth areas like cl uh, cloud, uh, various cloud services. So old tech is starting to win. As we said early in the week on Morning Joel, you could see a rotation back into old tech names uh, because they've cut so many expenses. They can beat on earnings and they've reinvested in their business. And because they have a phenomenal dividend. I mean, IBM yields almost Four and a half percent. That's phenomenal. Could see a rotation back to them. Good, strong quarter for for IBM. The streets. Eric Jones said digs into the numbers. He's a little more skeptical than I am. I mean, I'm showing a lot of optimism. It may just be this death wish coffee. I'm not too sure, but check that one out. Next up, what do we got? By the numbers. You know, speaking on staying on the tech topic. What a story last night on the street. I'm looking at tech profit margins. Why is everybody so bullish on tech? Because tech profit margins continue to go up in a straight line. Uh, EBIT profit margins, uh, basically oper operating profit margins for the tech space, S&P 500 tech space, uh, nearing 30%. That is phenomenal. In 2010, they were about at 20%. These companies almost have unlimited pricing power. And when I think of unlimited pricing power, I think of Jim Cramer's Cloud Kings. These are seven companies like a Salesforce, Adobe that can pretty much price their products at whatever they want because they own the market. Go into the street, check out uh, what Jim Cramer's Cloud Kings are. I have it defined in this piece on the top. Check it out, share it on social, and copy myself and Jim on Twitter. I mean, we gotta show the love out there. Next up, by what we got? We got around the street a little bit. Big beat for Danaher, uh, longtime action alerts plus holding there. Danaher blew it away. Life science business, very strong. They're spinning off their dental business. We'll have more on Danaher throughout the day. An interesting name uh, that you probably don't follow, but you need to know about it. Uh, the AAP team has been very bullish on it. Uh, let's see, Michael Brown, uh, the co-editor of the deal. He hopped onto a video. He's done two this week. Shout out to Michael Brown. Uh, looking at the battle for M&A dollars between Goldman and Morgan Stanley. Cool video on the street right now looking at that. Our, our Anders Kite sat down with Lee Munson. Uh, Money Manager uh, is definitely in financial media face. He, he's not afraid to make headlines. Got a lot of pieces floating around that. He calls Tesla, quote, a money monster. That is very interesting. Read that piece, share it. I know all your Tesla shorts out there will uh, very much love that. And what do we got? Oh, I got Tilray's CEO, cannabis company. They will IPO on the NASDAQ today. Now, I've never smoked weed. I'm not, I haven't really been around weed in my life. Uh, so it was interesting for me to read this company's prospectus. They are not making money, but I'm very interested to sit down with CEO Brendan Kennedy and learn about the company's prospects. So be sure to check out that on the street when it hits later today. Be sure to sign up for the Morning Jolt newsletter down below. I'll see you guys later.